Hey YouTube, Soda Can Man here, and I have the new Modulus Ion Fire. Not to be mistaken with the main series blaster, the Modulus, without that little Ion Fire edition. But this has no range claims, which surprises me a lot. So is this either a sharp fired or possibly an elite sharp fire with a little boost and some cool tactical additions? And not to mention, I will be trying out these attachments all at the end of the video. So do stick around for that or skip to it if you really don't have the heart. But what's funny is it only shows the main series modulus on the back and not the regular blaster comes with so I think that's a little odd judging by it only comes with this little piece and this little front barrel considering it advertises the main series modulus blaster maybe that was an error by a nerf but I'll get to this and I'll get all these pieces out of here okay now I've gotten the blaster it's actually a little smaller than I thought it would be the head thing is not as uncomfortable uncomfortable as I thought it would be and actually is a quite a nice grip and not a bad trigger except for people who are, have very very large hands you'll have a bit of trouble putting your finger in there and the blaster is a bit thicker than I you'd think on the grip for being a nerf gun it's not bad and it's not the greatest but still it's pretty good for what nerf has been coming out with and I do like that Similar to the sharp fire, you load it by pulling this back, you put a dart, you can put it in like halfway if you want, or push it all the way back, and fire, and I'll show you that also you don't need to put the dart all the way back if you're in a hurry, you can just close it like this, make sure it's all the way forward because you might run to something like this, where it'll just sit there and you pull the trigger and nothing happens, so make sure you have this piece all the way forward and fire so you can also put the little barrel attachment that comes with in the front it's a very snug fit no wobble at all really if you're moving it you can either put this little ammo holder on the top it holds four darts which only four darts are included though so I think it'd be nice if they included five darts but hey that's just my opinion so you also can put it under here to hold the darts under other way you want to go it's the nerf modulus make the blaster however you want and I will do a firing for you guys and then after that firing I will show you guys a few of the attachment combos okay guys I'm back now with the firing remember to put the dart in either way you want to do it and move it all the way forward so now I put this little stock on here, it's a little funky little thing, the module, one of the modulus kits, the strike and defend kit, it feels a bit funky, a slight amount of wobble, but otherwise it feels pretty nice in the blaster, but is relatively useless and I'll get to that later. And I'm already finding a few little problems with this blaster, and that is, when you come to go prime the blaster, your hand will hit this top rail ever so often, and it will hurt, so make sure not to put your hand all the way into that so and closing the little slide is always a pain in the ass so make sure I'll demonstrate right here what happens it will run your knuckles into this little rail so I don't really like that feature and also moving the slide forward it doesn't always want to move into place and you have to kind of force it into place which I don't really like that but otherwise it's not too bad and I'll go reload this for another firing Okay, I'm back, and also I found a new cool feature. You can also close the slide by just pulling the trigger. Just joking, I just jammed up the gun. And let's see, okay, here we go. So let's fire another round of shots. The consistency is not bad. Well, that's with using fresh darts. Nor is the power good though. It's definitely not 75 feet, but it's more of like zombie strike range. Maybe a little better, a little less than elite. I'd have to say it's 60 feet at best. So it's not a horrible blaster, but it's also not a bad blaster. It's not the fire strike performance I'd like, but still, it's a neat little blaster. So I will now get to the little attachments. Okay, now here's a pretty simple setup. This is what I'd like to use. Just pretty much a little suppressor, little front you can get with the modulus kit. That's really how I would run this, just, or have the little set on below, the little dart set down here with the little suppressor front. I think that would be a good one, and another one. Okay, now here's a little funky setup. It's a little suppressor front plus little foldable grip, which I think is tactical as heck, so, and the strike and defend kit pistol. So, next. Did somebody say tactical? Okay, now we got the tactical sniper set up right here. A sniper scope from the long shot suppressor. Oh yeah, for 
extra stealthy kills, some bipod for extra extra accurate kills, man. And don't forget striking the bank kit. You don't know when some guy comes up close, you don't got ammo. Boom. He's gone. Deadly rounds right here. Well, thank you for watching.